Okay, hello everybody. All right, so now I have my hard slab completely constructed. It's firmed up a little bit. You can see it's, it's messy from last class where I filled things in. And what we're gonna do today is clean it up. To do that, we're gonna need a ruler. We're gonna have a needle tool or your paper clip to poke some holes, like the wooden tool or carving tool, a knife of some sort or something with a straight edge. And I've got my sponge and a bowl of water. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go along and I'm gonna scrape off any of the crumbs from the surface. Now these could have been added on to overfill. And if I see any holes, Take some slip and I'll put that in there. Okay. So these crumbs could have just gotten stuck on the surface from the board and we just gotta scrape them off. Scrape them off the best you can. The interior spaces can be a little difficult to work with. And that's why this knife, a knife is nice because you can go into them like this. So the first step, once again, is to use the knife to scrape down to clean the surface. And once again, any holes get filled. You want to also make sure it doesn't wobble and it's stable. As stability is one of the construction uh, parts of the rubric. Okay, after you've scraped over the surface and cleaned it up as much as you can, you can take a sponge and you can soften it and clean it even more. You should have your sponge. You want to keep cleaning your sponge. So I have a little bucket of water. I dip my sponge in and then I go over the surface. And you can see it's kind of like wet sanding, if you've ever done that. And it uh, softens any bumps, gets rid of unwanted texture. You can take it over edges like corners to soften them. You don't want the corners to be too sharp or they can um, chip and break. All right, last step, last two steps. If you have texture or if you have a letter or design, you need to carve that in. So if you remember, I have C and H. And I believe I want my C to go slightly into the H. So I am going to hold a ruler and I'm gonna to continue to carve the letters that I want. So there's the top of my C. Now I want this part of my C. And then I would even carve along here and so now it looks like a C and an H so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to carve in it a couple more times and clean it up 
and then I might soften it with the sponge a little bit, the texture I put in. And then at the end, you can use your needle tool, uh, a needle tool, which I have here at school. Um, you can use any type of needle or pokey thing at home, including the paper clip I sent home. You need to release the air. So any place where there could be contained air, you're gonna to wanna to poke some holes. So I'm gonna poke holes along the bottom and maybe one right here just in case anything closes up. So this will allow the air to escape when it's heated. As it's heated in the kiln, the air molecules will get excited, they heat up, they vibrate, and they need a place to escape or the piece will kind of crack and crumble. And this will allow that um, air to escape. All right, so this is the final cleaning of the hard slab. This is what you want to kind of reserve that last day of class so you have time to do it. Thank you very much.